Uh, first of all, congratulations on a uh, successful UFC debut. So now that you do have your first win in the UFC out of the way, what are the emotions here in Las Vegas? Yeah, f um, first UFC win out of the way. I'm ecstatic. I'm very happy. I'm proud of my performance. I haven't watched it back yet, but I can recall majority of the fight. Uh, my team's very happy. Um, it's always good to get the, the first one out the way, you know, because uh, everyone's always telling me, like, ah, uh, you, uh, your octagon jitters, the first one's always a big one. And, I mean, it doesn't get any bigger than this on uh, T-Mobile, UFC 285, John Jones on the card. And I didn't feel any octagon jitters, you know. For me, I feel like if you prepare correctly, uh, you know, jitters, and it's all in your head. It's all in your head. So I, I prepared correctly with my team, uh, and I'm very happy with my performance. You said your team was happy, and you can remember a majority of the fight. Are you happy with, how the, with your performance in there? Most certainly. I'm very happy with my performance. It wasn't an easy opponent, uh, and I, I mean, I had it all, every round to myself. You know, I think they probably, it was a 29-28, right? So every judge gave 29-28. I probably gave, uh, they probably gave round two, I'm thinking. But that's when he kind of almost took my back, had that arm triangle situation. Um, but I got out straight away, and then I took him down, landed a bunch of elbows myself, so I felt like I canceled that out, and I won that round too. So, yeah, for, my, for myself, it was, a, it was a pretty much straightforward fight, and uh, I'm very happy with my performance. He would have some moments in there where it looked like he was starting to pick up the pace a bit, and mm -hmm. I think it was the third round he shot in for a takedown, mm -hmm. and even the commentary was like, why is he... They were shocked that yeah. he would shoot on you. Were you surprised yeah. that he shot on you in those moments? Um... No, not really that surprised because uh, I knew coming in he wasn't going to stand with me. And um, I, I know these guys, they're underestimating my grappling and my wrestling. The same way they underestimated uh, Javid's grappling and wrestling. But when they get in there with us, um, I mean, I, my, I train with Jake Shields every day. I mean, I've got to be decent, right, by now. And um, yeah, I think he was probably hoping to press me, get me down to the ground. But it's not that easy, you know. Uh, I probably found the grappling easier than the striking today, you know, and he's supposed to be, to be the wrestler, the grappler, and I'm the striker. So, yeah, I'm not that surprised. The triangle at the end, how tight was it? No, nah, it wasn't very tight at all. Uh, I, there was, I, I heard my corner say 15 seconds left, so I un unloaded uh, for a bunch of punches. He did whip it up very well, but I had my chin tucked. My arm was, you know, right by my head. Elbow was uh, upward, so he couldn't go for an armbar, and uh, I was very cognizant the whole time. Was it the elbow that was hurt in your last fight? It was the same one. It did, it did flash through my mind. There was a moment I was like, oh, man, you've got to be kidding me. But at that point, to be honest, like with five, ten seconds left, even if it was on, I would have let him break it, and I'd just go win the judge's decision. It doesn't matter. There was no tapping at that point. But the, the elbow was good throughout camp and in this fight? Yeah, it was great. The, yeah, I, I was hoping to get some um, uh, microphone time after the fight because I wanted to thank... Uh, the UFC Performance Institute, you know, the, the physio team in particular have done such an incredible job with me, Heather, Ryan, Tara, Bobby, um, every day, every day since October, they were, they were on me, fixing me, recovering, uh, recover, uh, making sure I recover, and um, I had a great healthy camp today in the warm-up, everything, I didn't feel anything, so thank you to the UFC PI, and they did an incredible job with me. So fine. Final one for me, when do you want to get back in there now that you have your first win out of the way? Um, so for me, uh, it's going to be Ramadan in the end of March. That will last a month till the end of April. And I'll be, I'm going to go to London, with my, spend time with my family during Ramadan. And then I'll be back to Vegas and straight into camp. I think I want to fight maybe end of June, early July. I think that's realistic around International Fight Week. That will give me... a a good amount of time to, you know, get my weight back down and get into training, you know, because Ramadan does offset your rhythm a little bit. So, yeah, it's early March now. I'm thinking end of June, early July would be good. Right over here. Oh. Um, Uh, no, no extra pressure for me, you know. F for me, the, like, I make sure I take care of my mindset, you know. I don't let, allow things like what other people say, uh, betting odds, these things to, to affect my mindset. For me, it's very simple. It's 
ha my preparation and um, just go into the cage and, and, and perform, you know, do what I've been doing in training. Um, the, you know, the, the situation of it being my debut in such a big, uh, big arena, big occasion, and the fact there was, you know, bad blood going into this fight, you know, with me and Damon, we had some, uh, some issues that added some sort of, uh, you know, pressure, if, if you will, but I enjoy it. I enjoy all that, you know, um, back and forth. And it just made me train harder and it made me, uh, you know, just give that little bit extra something uh, when we were in the fight, you know. How inspiring is it to see the run that your brother's gone in the UFC and sort of, I know you train together every day, but just to have someone like that that is in the you know, same weight class, getting to train with them, just how inspiring is that stepping into the cage? Yeah, very, very inspiring. You know, um, Javid made his debut exactly 51 weeks ago, March 12, 2022. And, uh, you know, I look at Javid like a blueprint. You know, it's, I'm very lucky in that sense. You know, Javid did so, so, and so. He did this very well. He, did this, he could have done this better. Um, for example, you know, and then what I do is I keep, uh, we add on what he did well and then what he could have done better, I learn from, you know, so automatically uh, I'm lucky to learn from everything he went through. So yeah, that's why in that sense there was no jitters and stuff like that because I kind of feel like I already went through all of this with Javid. Yeah, and um, in terms of, uh, you know, your performance and everything, uh, you mentioned when you want to fight next. Are there any opponents in mind? I know you're new to the UFC, but do you look at any uh, fighters in the, in the division and say that could be a really fun matchup? Um, you know, it, I, where I am right now, like, I'm not anywhere near the rankings uh, or anything, so it could be so many people, you know, it's just, it depends on who's available and uh, what the UFC kind of have planned too, so as much as I'd love to call somebody out, that I really don't have anybody in mind. And just last one for me, how do you celebrate after a, a big win like this, your first UFC victory, what are you going to be doing tonight? Um, I think I'll go out with my, with my team. My friends, a couple, a couple, uh, my brother and a good friend of mine flew over from London, you know. We'll just go out, eat, and just uh, recap and reminisce about the fight and uh, the journey, you know. That's it.